Okay. On this video, we're going to talk about binary, um, but specifically, we're going to start talking about negative numbers. Now, so far, we've managed to do whole numbers and positive numbers. So we can do, say, this number here is the binary representation for 12. I'll just focus that a bit. That's going to be out of focus. There we go. So this number here is the binary representation for 12. 1s, 2s, 4s, and 8s. Okay, nice and simple. But what if we want negative numbers? Well, there's a couple of ways we can do negative numbers. And the easiest one, probably, is sine and magnitude. Now, with sine and magnitude, all we do is we say the most significant bit, so the one furthest to the left, indicates the sine, and the other bits indicate the magnitude or the size. So if you're talking denary numbers, if we say minus 12, what we're saying is this bit here is the sine, and this bit here is the magnitude. Okay, so the first bit in denary tells us whether it's positive or negative, and the second section, everything else, tells us how big the number is. Exactly the same works with sine and magnitude of binary. So if I had a plus 12, and for argument's sake, let's store it, let's say I'm storing it as 6 bits. Okay, so there is plus 12. Okay, the most significant bit, so the bit furthest to the left, represents the sine, and everything else represents the magnitude. And so if we want to make this minus 12, all we do is say the magnitude is still 12, but the sine is the other way around. It's minus 12. Okay, so plus 12, minus 12. And all you do is you look at the sine, you look at the magnitude, and it works very much like denary numbers. Okay? Now, if you're studying for OCR computing, you definitely need to know that. For AQA, you probably won't need it for certainly the AS exam. Um, but it's useful to know. It's kind of a historical explanation for kind of how we get from whole numbers to negative numbers because there are other ways as well but if you understand the, the principle of the first bits for the sign everything else is the magnitude you should be okay we'll do a couple examples um, if I said I've got this number here what does that represent in binary in denary sorry then the most significant bit is the sign so it's positive and then we've got um, what have we got 64 a 16 and that's 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's plus 90. If I wanted the negative version of that, I'd just swap that to a 1. You don't need to draw those dotted lines in, that's just for me to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. So that would be minus 90, and um, find another one. Then again, the most significant bit for the sign means it's negative. And here we've got 32 and 16, that's 48. And here we've got 2 and 4, that's 6. So we've got 54. So this number is minus 54. Okay? So the most significant bit, wherever it is, is the sign. Everything else is the magnitude. Dead straightforward.